want to see video results that are there because of the love of the topic not so much for the love of the money i want to see small creators the underdog i want to watch the talent that was made for youtube not only will I show you how to use an extension that removes these mainstream channels, but I will discuss the impact of mainstream media and what it could do to the future of YouTube. Stay tuned for the details. If you're new to my channel, I provide tips on software and marketing techniques so that your channel will grow fast here on YouTube. I have taken the elements that I have learned and applied it to my own channel and currently I receive 200 subscribers a month and 1000 views every single day. Subscribe and click the bell so that you can learn these elements and apply them to your own channel so that you too can get the same kind of growth. Yes! A few days ago I was popping around on the internet and I was doing some research for a video and I stumbled on an extension for Chrome called D mainstream. You can see the website right here. Uh, check out the URL. It's D mainstream by a gentleman called Mark Miscavige from uh, New York city. And I immediately gravitated to this extension because it removes a series of mainstream channels from YouTube search. Check it out. Here are all the different channels that it will remove from YouTube. It's quite remarkable. All right. So here we are. We're going to test this thing right now. I'm going to show you how it works and what it does do and what it doesn't do and how it does what it does. <laughs> okay. So install the extension. I have it on Brave. It works perfectly on Brave. It works on Firefox and it works on Chrome with no worries. I don't know if it works on Explorer, whatever the heck that is, i.e. whatever. Who uses it? Who cares? I have it on Brave right now. I want to, I'm on the YouTube homepage. I want to let you know that it does not affect the removal of channels on the homepage. Okay. What it does affect is the search. So right now, if I click the pink icon up here, it says D mainstream has access to the site. Click on that. As you can see, here's a list of all the channels that it can block currently all the mainstream channels. As you can see, it's white. So they're not selected. So I'm going to do a search now in the search bar here i'm going to paste in a title hit search and let's scroll down here i'll scroll down right about let's see right in here where was that one video that i know will vanish okay here it is cnbc television the coronavirus will have a significant impact on our economy that's the one that it's going to block so if i go into the mainstream here and i hit select all it will make that disappear here we go three two one gone and it's beautiful it removes it so you never see it it loads it but you never see it and you'll never click it which is a good thing if you click this plus sign here in the lower right hand corner you will see an animation if you pay close attention to it it reveals that you can right click on the channel name and you will see a d mainstream selection that allows you to add more deletions based on your custom selections i have yet to make this work i think it's a bug Mark, if you hear me, uh, man, please make this work because right now, as, uh, as far as I can see, I cannot add my own channels. The underpinning message is quite remarkable, and that is if there's a dude out there who's willing to spend a lot of time developing software on GitHub to remove mainstream media channels from YouTube, that sends a very powerful message to a lot of people that what's going on at YouTube is not, not what not people, people want. want. I think that the reason why is, is because YouTube came from nothing. It came from grassroots, organic content, raw, human-based. Now we're at a point where YouTube is so strong and so powerful and so popular that finally, after all these years, now mainstream has decided to move on in and create their own channels. Now the question is, is YouTube falsely propping up these channels? Uh, and getting it in front of the eyes of people or are the mainstream channels creating their own channels on YouTube and naturally because their brands are so powerful getting to the top of suggested and in trending because their brands are so powerful I honestly don't know the answer to that I can tell you that there was an article posted on wire.com that discusses YouTube plans to promote authoritative news now what authoritative news is, I don't know, but it sure sounds like authoritative news is mainstream news to me. So in other words, what they're going to do is they're going to go in, take a look at all the news channels on YouTube and decide whether or not they are authoritative and promote them unnaturally. I don't think that's right. 
I don't think that's right at all. I think that that's not a smart move. I think it doesn't promote raw humanistic talent on the venue. I think it circumvents what YouTube's really all about. And I think that you probably would agree with me. So there was back in 2016, a bunch of articles and a bunch of creators who were complaining about how they were losing subscribers and watch time synthetically. I haven't heard anybody complaining about that recently, so maybe that was some kind of a software glitch. I know H3H3 was really complaining about it big time. There's another article here. You can check it out. I'll put it in the description. You can read it. In my heart of hearts, I really don't think that YouTube is pushing mainstream media to the top to some extent. I think really what's going on, and these people are finally recognizing the power of YouTube, the influence of YouTube, and because their brands are so powerful, naturally, when they put up a video, everybody recognizes that brand and just watches the video, which then triggers an algorithm push. And before long, they've got all the traffic. And YouTube has made another change, and that is how you add tags in the new studio. It's a very subtle change, and it sends a very loud message in regards to how YouTube considers the level of importance of tags. Click this video right here, and we'll go over it. I think you're going to be surprised.